Hey guys, this is Junith here from K21 Academy and I welcome you all to this interesting session where we are going to see how to install Python on our systems. So without any further ado, let me quickly start our session. But guys, before we begin, please do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on trending technologies. So before we start off with, you know, how to install Python on your system, let me quickly give you a walkthrough about what exactly is Python, right? Well, Python is a high level general purpose programming language, which can be used for multiple purposes. So what does this general purpose mean, right? So what this means over here is that with Python programming language, I can use it for various reasons, be it for machine learning, web development, data analytics, or just building your own, uh, you know, converting your mathematical algorithms into some form of functions and codes, trying to use it for networking and various other things. So, and apart from that, the thing that Python provides is easy to understand syntax. So this is what this is one of the reason why Python programming is popular among people who are trying to start off with, uh, you know, learning to code. So now that we know what is Python and why people are using it, so let me quickly give you a brief overview of their application. So first off, uh, Python is typically used in web development. So some of the frameworks that we have for web development are like Django, we have Flask. So these are just the few popular ones to name. Then apart from that, we use this for, you know, machine learning algorithms. Let's say you have a huge amount of data set and you just want to create a model, right? You want to automate the task. So all you need to do is, you know, provide a prehistoric data. You can use the same for, you know, cleaning your data and then build a machine learning algorithm, which you can deploy it and make your life easier. Apart from that, uh, you can use Python for web scraping. That is basically like if you want to extract the data from the website, you can use our Python algorithms and we have various APIs. So what this API does is API is like you can say a set of functions uh, which has already been written. And you know all you need to do is just call the APIs and it does it for you. Apart from that, the best thing about Python, it has a very good documentation of each and every function and a very big community to back things up. Apart from that, Python is used for database and networking. Let's say you're working in like big data centers and there, you know, in order to handle your networks or CPUs, all you basically use is a database or networking program. So we use Python to, you know, to somehow handle these databases. Finally, you we use Python for neural networks. If you know what is a neural network, this is basically like imitation of your brain cells. So using neural networks, we can use like huge amount of data set to generate an optimum and human like decisions. So this is some of the reasons why you should consider using Python. So now that we know what is Python and why a couple of reasons why you should consider using Python, let me now quickly show you how you can install Python on your system. So to install Python on your system, make sure you get down to your favorite web browser. The web browser that I'm going to use over here is going to be Google Chrome. So let me quickly uh, go there. Okay. So once you're here, may, um, you can Google Python. So let me agree to this python.org. Uh, whatever is the link that you get here on top, that is the first link. You can click on to this. Here you will have the option as downloads. So you can download the latest version that is 3.10, uh, the time of the recording. And once you hit this, uh, you get an option. It instantaneously downloads it for you. But I would say, please don't go through this. Okay. Uh, sometimes it might download a 32 bit of your 32 bit version of it. So instead of the, what I would recommend you is go down to downloads here. Okay, and then see which version you need. Uh, if you, let's say you want Python 3.10, so click on this, and here you get uh, various operating systems that you want to work for, like uh, Windows 64 bit installer, 32 bit, and if you're trying to use Mac OS, you have an option over here. And yeah, so now let me tell you this uh, if you're someone who has, you know, purchased your laptop in recent three, four years, then obviously it's going to be 64 bit. So you don't, you can just directly install it. If not, please make sure to check out whether your uh, operating system is a 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. But I'm pretty sure most of the time it's going to be 64 bit. So click on this. Uh, it says, uh, depending upon your internet speed, uh, this would just download in a fraction of a second or it might take some time. Okay. Once the download is completed, all you need to do is click on that. It will provide you with this command prompt here, or let's say a window like this. 
make sure you add this to the path or else you have to manually add it to the part and then uh, all you need to do is install now so i have already installed this in my system i'm not going to install it again so i'm going to cancel the installation and close it okay so if you have installed this on your system right so, so how do you verify whether you have installed this correctly or not so to do that what you can do is open a command prompt okay so um let me quickly go to my command prompt and show you what i can do so command prompt okay so if you remember i asked you to add it to the path right? so once you add it to the path it means it is globally installed so all you need to do now is just hit python and then hit enter so as you can see here it is taking me to a python shell so it says let me print something out so print hello and if i hit enter it says print hello if you want to see the version you can just type uh, python hyphen hyphen version or v it will uh, show you the version of python that you have but here i have python 3.8.8 okay and so with this we have successfully installed python on our system and this is how uh, you can install and you know try to do some basic programming over here if you want to come out of this command prompt or the shell all you need to do is exit this way and you'll be back to your original drive all right guys so this is it about how to install python on your system if you guys are interested in a uh, python for data science course you know we have our free class over here so in order for you to activate or to access your free class all you need to do is just type k21academy.com slash python02 with this what you can do is you know before you take up our course uh, one of our experts will definitely give you a free demo about how the coursework is going to be and even you can give a brief thought about you know whether you should invest or this particular domain is for you or not so let me quickly show you how you can access this course so for this all you need to do is make sure you go to your favorite browser so once again uh, i have my favorite browser here as my chrome so let me go down to k21academy.com and then give python 02 once you hit this, what happens is it's going to take you to a Python free class wherein we usually conduct this on three different hours because we know we have people from different time zones. Uh, it's important for us to cons to have it on multiple time zones. So the next class is on 17th of October and then all you need to do is hit register here. And once you do that, you can just give your name. Uh, make sure to give your email address. And then now you can give any phone number that you want and then just hit register now so once you hit register we'll also send you an email which has the link to join your zoom but also you can join it from here like you can you have an access to this join webinar and then we also have an agenda of a program over here all right guys so with this we come to the end of our session i hope you enjoyed and done something new if you have any further queries, please do mention them in our comment box below. Until next time, goodbye and take care.